rich dad, poor dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So I had two dads, a rich dad and a poor dad. My poor dad had a PhD and my rich dad never finished the eighth grade. My poor dad never liked the discussion of money and he would always forbid it. My rich dad on the other hand encouraged the discussion of money and he would always say, never say I can't afford something because if you do, you force your brain to go to sleep and to stop working on thinking of creative ways to make money. Both my dads strongly believed in getting an education. My poor dad always encouraged me to go to school, get good grades so that I can get accepted into a good college. My rich dad on the other hand encouraged me to go to school and get a financial education. One dad died leaving his family bills to be paid, the other died leaving tens of millions of dollars to his family, churches and charities. The problem with most people is that they always complain about money. They will always say, oh, I have no money, I'm broke, my job sucks, I need to get a second job to pay the bills. But let me ask you this, what would you do if you got a pay increase today? Let's say you were earning $3,000 a month and I offered you a pay rise to $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month. What would you do with the extra money? Would you invest it or spend it? You see, more often, money is not necessarily the solution. More money does not translate into less problems. In fact, it's your poor understanding of money and how it works. You have a poor financial IQ, as Rich Dad would say. This is why the poor and middle class have financial problems. Instead of investing a portion of their paycheck into income generating assets, they end up buying liabilities. A brand new car for instance, a brand new 50 inch flat screen TV, or the latest iPhone. The list goes on and on. As a result, no matter how much their paycheck may increase, they are always going to find more frivolous ways to spend it. The rich on the other hand spend most of their paycheck investing in income generating assets. Planting assets is like planting a tree. If you want to be rich, you need to be financially literate, period. If you are going to build the Empire State Building, you need a firm foundation. The poor and illiterate build a skyscraper with a poor foundation. As a result, instead of the Burj Al Dubai, you get the leaning tower of suburbia and hence the financial headache start. Kiyosaki says, the poor have expenses, the middle class buy liabilities they think are assets, and the rich spend their time acquiring assets. Now you are probably asking yourself, what is an asset and what is a liability? Well, an asset is basically something that puts money into your pocket. For example, a business, real estate, paper assets like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, etc. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. For example, your car, your house, your phone, etc. Basically anything that requires you to use money to maintain and use. The rich spend their time acquiring and accumulating assets, which brings in money, which they can reinvest in acquiring more assets. Over a period of time, these assets would have grown so large and profitable that they make the rich even richer. Economist calls this compound interest, and it's the secret of the rich. Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. This is how the 1% make their money. The biggest secret of the rich. Let me give you a brief history lesson. I'm sure most of you know about Robin Hood, right? The guy who takes from the rich and gives to the poor. Well, my rich dad did not see Robin Hood as a hero. In fact, he called Robin Hood a crook. Although Robin Hood is long gone, his followers lives on. I most often hear people saying, why don't the rich pay for it? Or the rich should pay more in taxes and give to the poor. It's this ideal of Robin Hood taking from the rich and giving to the poor that has caused the most pain for the poor and suffering for the middle class. The reason the middle class is so heavily taxed is because of this Robin Hood ideal. The reality is that the rich are not taxed, it's the middle class who pay for the poor. In England and America originally, there were no taxes, but occasionally there would be temporary taxes levied in order to pay for wars. Taxes were levied in Britain for the fight against Napoleon from 1799 to 1816, and in America taxes were levied for the Civil War of 1861 to 1865. Once governments got a taste of money, just like any pig, they wanted more. And so in 1874, England made income tax a permanent levy on its citizens. In 1913, America followed suit, and thanks to the 16th Amendment to the Constitution, income tax became a permanent levy on its citizens too. Initially, these taxes were levied on the rich, and it was made popular and accepted by telling the poor and middle class that the taxes were created to punish the rich. And so the fools they were, the masses voted for the law, and it became constitutionally legal. 
That's how the middle class and the poor got taxed. The power of corporations. The secret of paying less taxes is simpler than you think. It's through corporations. What is a corporation, you might be asking? Well, the poor thinks a corporation is a, is a tall tower on Wall Street with huge glowing billboards on its roof peak. The truth is, this is not true. In fact, a corporation is simply a legal document authorized to act as a single entity, a legal person in the eyes of the law, if you will. Corporations are legally allowed to meet all their expenses first, then get taxed on whatever is left. So they spend on hotels, hotels, cars, jets, literally anything you can think of, and then whatever is left is taxed. So if a corporation had, let's say, $1 million and spends $990,000, they would only be taxed on whatever is left, which is $10,000. By exploding these loopholes in the law, guys like Warren Buffett pays less in taxes than their secretaries. This is the secret of the rich, and it is what has helped them continuously increase and keep their wealth.